They're going to a party, and a dirty word comes up: buffet. <laughs> no, no, buffet is the it is a dirty is word. the it's a dirty because you can overeat in a buffet. Them. I hate them. What advice? If they go to an affair or just a regular buffet. I'll tell you what I do. I, first of all, I stay clear of them uh, whenever I possibly can. If I had to go to a buffet, I, this is exactly what I do myself. First of all, I never go hungry, ever. That's number one. I always have a little something before I leave the house, about an hour before I do. Or even on the way there, I'm picking on an hour, I'm eating So an skipping hour, a meal, and so I'll no, 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 no good idea. No, no. If you, no, absolutely not. Number one. Number two, when I get to the buffet, the very first thing I do... I don't wait online with my plate behind a bunch of other people. I first I I scan the entire table and all the I go right past people who are waiting online with their plates. I don't even take a plate yet. And I'm scanning the whole table to see what is there. So rather than standing behind other people waiting for them to go and moving along like this, not knowing what's coming, that's when pe when people don't know what's what's throughout the whole table. They see something and they say, you know what, let me take a little bit of this because I don't know what's, what else I might be able to eat. Then they take a little more of this because I don't know what else is down there that I might be able to eat. But I know what I might be able to eat because I look at the whole table first. So this way, it plan a little bit. This way, I skip around people. If I know that I don't want the first five items, I'm, I don't want to see it. So I'll skip three people. I'll say, excuse me, excuse me, I just want to get to the salad. Or then I'll say, excuse me, I just want to grab a piece of fish. I laser in on what's there first. Then I go back, I get my plate, and I help myself to the three things, let's say, that I know I can have. And that's how I go through a buffet. But you have to realize, if you eat something, your brain doesn't tell you you're full yet. It takes a little to, to delay. That's exactly, brain... right. that's exactly right. And then, and, and then, but the thing is, and if you're picking all along the way the things that you know aren't the best choices, but you don't know what's coming... But then you have so much food on your plate that the chances are you're going to eat what's not good for you first... And then the things that you could have eaten, it, you're too full, you can't eat it. So in other words, it's decision making, but first you got to get the facts to make the right decision. Uh, absolutely. And most, listen, most buffets, most, if they're halfway decent, will have a salad. Uh, most buffets will have something. But salad can be good and bad. Right. It's what you put on the salad can make it bad, so? Of course. And if you have a little vinegar and oil, it's okay? Yeah. Of course it is. And I will always tell somebody... A ranch somebody, salad and uh, Thousand Island, that's a good idea. No. Very high in fat, very high in salt. Even if a person is going to a buffet or a res something, it's still better to have a salad. Let's just say there is salad dressing on the side. And you know, it, you know it's going to be very high in calories. It's not low fat or fat free. It's still not a disaster. If you can't eat a salad dry, and I, don't, I wouldn't eat it dry myself, I would take a little bit of salad dressing on the side and then what I would do is take my fork, stick it in the salad dressing, you know, to get a little bit of the dressing on the tongs, and then I would scoop up my salad. Instead of pouring something that I know I would never buy for my house, instead of pouring it on my salad, you take so a little you're, bit at a time. So you're controlling there. I'm controlling the, the amount of the salad dressing that I'm using. But buffets do not have to be a disaster. I mean, I don't think buffets are anybody's first choice. I really don't. But you can you can get through it. It's not it's not that big of a deal if you do it right. You just take a look at what's there first, register in your mind exactly where you need to go, skip everything else, sit down and, and eat. if you do make a mistake. Okay, so you so, get over it. Tomorrow okay. you know, Tomorrow. right? There's still the rest of the day. Make your dinner good. Try to compensate for dinner. Maybe if you were, if you had a bad lunch, you know, there were certain things that you ate that you shouldn't have, or there was nothing there at that buffet that you could eat other than stuff that had a lot of gunk on it. Maybe then for the dinner time, have a lighter supper that night. If you were planning on having steak, have fish instead. 